This colossal computer is expected to push the boundaries of scientific discovery, answering questions humankind has pondered since the dawn of time. We see research in almost every major area of science out there. So we are doing research that's looking at the fundamental structure of an atom and those fundamental forces, all the way up to looking at the structure of the universe. Aurora, a supercomputer at Argonne National Laboratories in Illinois, could soon become the world's most powerful computer once it's fully operational. That's expected to happen later this year. Scientists are still connecting computer nodes that increase its power. You can think of a node as being the computer. This is, in many respects, your laptop. It's just a very incredibly powerful version of your laptop. Even at less than full power, the half-billion-dollar water-cooled machine, taking up the space of four tennis courts, is incomprehensibly fast, processing massive amounts of data at exaflop speed. That's a quintillion, 10 with 18 zeros after it, tasks per second. And when it comes to using artificial intelligence, it performs at 10 times that speed, making it the most powerful computer using AI on Earth. For years, computers have been getting smaller and more powerful. Each of those silver handles is essentially a computer or a node. Aurora has 10,624 of them, and that's what gives it its unfathomable speed and power. It can also solve practical problems, modeling in granular detail how cancer cells spread through the bloodstream, mapping a mouse brain and soon human brains, and testing billions of possible aircraft part models before building a single plane. I can tell you which part of Puerto Rico you should be worried about. Rao Cotamarthi is using Aurora to develop long-term climate models that range from a single building to the entire globe. If I can project what could be a risk for a coastal area, for, for, for heat waves, for wildfires. It will help uh, communities, companies to adapt to this change. Anyone in the world can apply for computing time on one condition. All of Aurora's research must be publicly available. That makes Aurora's impact not just potentially groundbreaking, but global. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Lamont, Illinois. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.